I'm getting on here because I want to give two words. A lot of people don't believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. They have a form of godliness, but deny the power thereof. There's a lack of balance. Some people tend to be more spiritual, but lack knowledge of the word of God. And some people have a strong knowledge of the word of God, but lack of spirituality concerning the, the spirit of the living God. This morning or yesterday, the 8th, my wife was giving a birth. She broke her pelvic when she was younger. The first labor that she had with our baby, it took about 15, 16 hours to deliver. I reached out to um, a brother in Christ that was out of Florida. And I told him to pray that she's going into labor and she's not able to get the epidural. She wanted the epidural because apparently her pain is 10 times worse because she broke her pelvic in both places when she was younger. The person that gives the epidural shot was going to two different rooms and she wasn't able to get to my wife's room on time before my wife started delivering. She uh, started having some contractions and stuff and I started to message my brother. He messaged me and he's like, in Jesus' name, fast delivery. Not even 10 seconds later, y'all. She she started pushing and the baby popped out immediately. Nothing like the first time, but the baby came out immediately. The word of God is true. And if we have the spirit of the living God living in us, we speak life, we bless, and we bind, we loose. God has given us power over all the powers of Satan. His word is true. God is not a man that he should lie. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Anyway, I want to share this testimony pertaining to the rapture. Just now I was um, listening to this sister's dream regarding the rapture. I'll include the link down in the description. As I was listening to it, I, I just began to get emotional because um. This morning, I got some of the hardest news I've ever received in my life. So we came home with a newborn daughter. We've been here for a while. And then I uh, started listening to Dreams and Visions, and I came across this lady. And she was talking about, like, people got caught up, and everybody was having this one hope. We all had this one hope, everybody that was uh, caught up in the rapture. And that hope is that we're going to the same destination. I believe that destination is in regards to the words that Jesus said. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms, many houses, many mansions. I go and prepare a place for you, and I will come back and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. I believe that everybody that caught up in the rapture pertaining to her dream, we all had that hope that we're going to be where Christ was. So I was listening at about that part of her testimony of the video, pacing back around my house. And I, looked, I was looking for a Bible. I pretty much sticked it to King James. But anyway, so I didn't find it, but I found this, this little, it's a HSCB translation. I don't know, Holman Christian or something. So I was listening to this testimony at about that part. I um, began to get emotional. As you can tell, I'm emotional. I don't want to share the news. Just pray for me. It's hard. It's a heavy burden. My heart's very weighed down. So I started praying and listening to while listening to this lady's testimony and I asked God, please Lord, speak to me. I need to hear from you. I do believe that sometimes you could open the Bible and just point your finger to a verse and, and it'll be exactly what you need. But I don't believe in doing it all the time. I, uh, I did that because I'm just broken right now, man just broken and I was desperate. I was like, God, I need to hear from you. I opened up the Bible on Isaiah chapter 25, verse 9. It says, On that day it will be said, Look, this, this is our God. We have waited for him and he has saved us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. Let us rejoice and be glad in his salvation. It's Isaiah chapter 25, verse 9. The gospel of Jesus Christ, that the word of truth that was spoken through our Messiah, 
He promised that if we believe in him and we received him, we'd become children born of God. To those who did receive him, to those who believed on his name, he gave the right to become children, children not born of natural descent or of human desire or of a husband's will, but children born of God. If we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and that God has raised him up from the dead, we shall be saved. For there is no other name given unto man which we might be saved. But the name Jesus Christ. I just wanted to share this. Uh, I'm a little emotional. Like I said, I just received uh, the worst news I've probably ever heard in my life today. But I'm being vulnerable because Jesus Christ is coming, man. God bless y'all.